Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Welcome up to the Dilltown Ball. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilltown Ball, we go on Wikipedia. We click random article. Can we talk about it? Yeah, we do. Johnny, I yes. dropped my phone in the sink and the water is running. Okay. I did that 40 minutes ago. Is it okay? My phone is fine. Great. I panicked. Sure, who wouldn't? <laughs> I panicked so hard, dude. I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to live my life now. It's it's crazy how... Uh... It, like my, I, my life flashed before my eyes. But when I moved here, you had like a flip phone. I had nothing. Yeah, and and you were you were a luddite, you, uh, like <laughs> basically. But is is a luddite? Is it an intentional thing? I believe it is. Okay, then but, you were a luddite. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I had a PC or I don't think I had anything. I remember you got a Surface. That was the best I had, and it was like I had to use Internet Explorer on it, and I was like, oh cool. So I had, I would rather just have a Kindle. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, the good the good news is my phone's fine and I've got an iTunes five star review for this very podcast that you and I are recording. Okay, and this comes to well, us. How, well, 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 how could they review the podcast that we're recording right <laughs> now? That's that doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, well, you you want to know what doesn't make sense is this review. Let me tell you what the title is. That's well, first of all, it's by this uh, this user GB, and the title is the podcast. This podcast cured my sleep apnea. What the fuck? And there and the uh, the body of the message says no, really. So thank you, GB. No way! <laughs> <laughs> For that very good review. We're so grateful your sleep apnea has been cured. And we are doctors. We so. are doctors. And also, I'm 99.9% certain I have sleep apnea, so I'm going to start listening to my own podcast when I go to sleep, and hopefully that works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's all I need. Um, real quick, mm-hmm. before we start the show. Sure. Um, now, now that we're both... Uh, there's a couple things. A couple, couple housekeeping things I think we need to... Sure. Uh, talk about one uh, you and I are both in the same room we're both wearing illegal shirts <laughs> we are wearing illegal shirts um, so we will be going to sea jail very soon yeah we I hate to say it but they look great they look fucking awesome uh, we'll, we'll probably post some pictures somewhere of us in these illegal shirts we'll figure out how to sell them to you some some way or give them to you for or give free. them to you yeah maybe hey Ooh, is that a loophole maybe um, maybe we'll find some way where we sell you a blank shirt and and a stencil <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Yeah. Well, you know what? Uh, people... we'll, sell, we'll sell you a bag and we'll give you a shirt for free. That's, yeah. I think Prohibition used to do that. They would, mm-hmm. like, sell a bag of chips for, yeah, 20 bucks and, you know, think of vodka with it. Yeah. That's interesting. I wonder if we could do that. I mean, we could do anything, but we just might end up in sea jail. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, so, again, sorry about last episode and how we talked extensively about these illegal shirts. Yep. It is kind of cool to be wearing an illegal shirt, though. It is very cool. Yeah, I feel like Hank Williams. I don't understand. <laughs> I feel like Johnny Cash. Like okay. Outlaw country. Sure. Guy. Okay. Yeah. Hank, Hank Williams, Williams Sr. Junior. Okay. No, fuck Junior. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well. Unless we're talking Dale. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, Dale Junior is fine. Um, the other thing is, you and I were both independently and not at the same time, but since the last time we've met in New York. Yes, that's right. We we record. We stopped recording. I flew to New York, and when I came back, I tagged you in, and you went to New York. Yeah. One of us from now on has to be in New York at all times. <laughs> did you have a, you were, you were there for WrestleMania. I was there for WrestleMania. Um, I did not attend the mania itself. Oh. I was there for all the other events. Okay. Um, what was your favorite? What was the highlight? What was the low light? Well, there, there's two, there's two events that are worth talking about. I won't go into great detail because okay. we don't have time for that. But the uh, main thing was at Madison Square Garden. I got to see a show there, which is very cool. Did you see the Godzilla egg? I, <laughs> I missed the Godzilla <laughs> egg. I did not go to the locker room. Um, but, uh, no, it was the uh, the G One Supercard. It was New Japan Pro Wrestling's big, big show. It was okay. like the first time they've ever done Madison Square Garden. It was huge. It was awesome. It was very cool. Um, the other thing I saw was uh, there's a uh, clothing company, apparel company called Blackcraft. Maybe you're yeah, yeah. familiar. Um, they now have a wrestling federation. No way. Yeah, maybe like it's like not even a year old. That's that's like the that Venn diagram for you. Oh, dude, it was it was a singular singular circle. Yes. Uh, and so they were having a show uh, in Jersey. So we like. Rode the train down, went to see their show. It started at midnight, uh, you know, the witching hour, of course. Yes. Uh, and then the guy who, like, there's, like, a character who runs it, who, who's, like, the preacher. And he's, like, the cult leader, basically. Fuck. And so he comes out. He's, got all the, he's like, very fire and brimstone, but for Satan. So I don't know what the opposite of that is. Water and <laughs> ice. Um, and the show started with someone being crucified on stage. Jesus Christ. 
Uh, and the show ended with uh, somebody coming out and being like, I want a challenge for the, the championship. Like, you never give me a shot. And the preacher was like, you'll get a shot over my dead body. And that guy was like, all right. And pulled out a knife and slit the preacher's throat Whoa. in one move. And the preacher was shooting blood out into the audience 10 feet. It was fucking radical. Yeah. That rules. So, yeah, it was very cool. Uh, the low light was New York City itself. I hate New York. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, like I said before, I, 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 I enjoy New York a lot. And, and I was basically the whole time alternating between I want to live here. I love it here. And why are these people living like this? <laughs> How can you do this? Um, I think the most shocking thing, aside from the trash everywhere, mm-hmm. and I don't mean... That it's dirty. I Little mean that there's trash bags. Yeah, because because that's what you have to do. I yeah. guess uh, is that there's no aside from parks. There's mm-hmm. no green. Oh wow, interesting. But we have like between the sidewalk and the road, yeah. except downtown. Right. There's grass. Well, you know what they uh, they call Chicago. One of the nicknames. <sighs> City of broad grass lanes. <laughs> uh, the the city in a garden. That's right. The city in a garden. There you go. Yeah. Um, I do like Chicago a lot. Chicago rules. I was so like literally so relieved to be back in Chicago. It's weird how close and how not cl- like how similar and how, how not similar. Yeah. They well, are. It's, it's like the, the, the DNA similarities between humans and monkeys is like 99%. That 1% difference is crucial. Yeah. But you like, you can still watch like a, 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 a an ape or whatever and right. be like, Oh God, that's like a dude. That, yeah. That's a full dude. But then you're like, no, 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 no. It's it's an ape. It's totally different. I saw a little gift today of uh, some some small gorilla. He was mm-hmm. just like, uh, boy, he got too big for his britches. He was trying to play with like a the fucking the silverback, big boy? Okay. the big boy. So like the little gorilla like like went up, and, uh, picked, scooped some dirt up and threw it in the big gorilla's face. <sighs> Immediately, the big gorilla just like got up and got in got in the other girl's face and was like fucking looked at him, just like oh. you want to fucking go, dude. And the little gorilla just like didn't look at him and was like looking away. And the big girl was like, "That's what I fucking thought," and just like left. I hate that because it's like, "Oh, you're you're people. You're, you're just people. fucking people." Yeah, straight up. Um, we also, again, I won't get into super into detail, but we the whole reason we went was literally one year ago. We bought tickets to see Harry Potter and the Cursed was Child. You, you and Jessica, yes, the official wife of Del Del Tumble, Tumble. Yes, it it was um, it was our one year wedding anniversary. So Congratulations! Thank you. Uh, How's it feel? Exactly the same. Except no party. <laughs> did you <laughs> did you save some of your uh, wedding cupcakes to eat in the freezer? No, I was too. That night, I was like, "Fuck this!" I was too preoccupied, as we all were, with my niece bottle flipping yeah. at the end of the wedding to save anything. That was very good. Yeah. The the well, I'll get to the Harry Potter thing, but I I don't think we've talked about this. But when at, at my wedding, when uh-huh. it was over, yeah, the music like turned off. They were like cleaning up the the. You know, the bartenders were like cleaning up and stuff. And for whatever, I don't know how it started because I, I, I like came into it. In the I think middle. it was just me watching her because she was trying to do the bottle flip thing and she was getting really close. And I was like, oh, you're so close. And then like everyone who was left at the wedding, which was like 20 or 30 people, yeah. just like circled around my like seven year old niece. And, and they were like, oh. oh, and then she fucking got it. And everyone lost their fucking minds. It, that was like, and then I feel like. Blue by FL65 started playing? Uh, no. When the music stopped, everyone just started singing Blue by <laughs> Eiffel 65. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, this sounds like a very pretty, on-brand yeah. wedding. Um, much to Jessica's dismay, oh, I'm no. sure. She had left an hour and a half ago. Yeah. <laughs> she had to catch her stories. Um, but we but we saw Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, sure. uh, parts one and two. So both. So it was how long was that total? Uh, about five or six hours. Oh, total. Yeah. Oh, I thought each part was like six hours. No, no, no. Each part was like two and a half hours. I don't know why I thought that. So it was like two and a half hours with an intermission. Okay. Then two like a two hour break. Okay. Then two and a half hours with an intermission. Not so bad. No. And I the thing that I was worried about was like, what if we see part one and it just sucks and we like don't want to go back to oh, see part two, no. but like you have to because you have these tickets. It was incredible. Oh, good. From like moment one, it was like I'm in. Fuck, cool. And um, it, it went by so fast. And when it was over, I was like, "Damn, I hate that I might never see that again." Oh wow, that's crazy. Because you know, like Hamilton is here in Chicago, right? I I think it would be impossible to do this show somewhere else. Really? Because just the amount of tech 
and wow. and everything. Um, it was unbelievable. That's interesting. And like I read the play when it came out, when the book came out, right? Um, and I didn't super care for it, mm-hmm. but it was like, oh, this is this is like fun. Uh, and then seeing it. It was a whole different. It was so. It was so different. That's really interesting. In in the playbill, you know, it's like these are the actors, this is the director, tech, uh-huh. whatever. Uh, there was a magic and illusions consultant <laughs> because they like they do magic on stage, dude. Holy shit! It, it was it was unbelievable. Like l- legit, the shit that they did, I did I was gobsmacked. <laughs> that reminds me, I saw some. Mm, do you care about spoilers for Star Wars: Edge of the Galaxy? Galaxy's Edge? Galaxy's <laughs> Um n- No, not particularly. Oh, okay. Just like some of the things we're selling. They're, oh, yeah. It's pretty wild. The lightsaber shit. I like, didn't you can like build your own lightsaber. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was like, damn, that's cool as shit. Uh, did you see the soda? No. What's the soda? They're going to sell Coke products, but in like goofy ass bottles. Oh, and good. all the words are in Arabesque. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> damn it. Okay. That's really cool. Because like the whole, I don't think this is going to stay like okay. this, but the whole point, is, the whole, the idea is that you're not on earth anymore. You're in Star Wars. Everything that you buy is like an in-universe thing. These aren't like I, I, I want that to stay so bad. These aren't these are things that you would buy in Star Wars. Right, right. I I I don't think it's gonna stay. You think? Yeah, I I really I I think it's I think it's a very cool lofty idea. Okay, but I think that it will get too bogged down. People won't understand it. I can see people not understanding it. Yeah. Um, I feel like the same mm. the same sort of thing happened with like Harry Potter. Oh, is that true? Harry Potter world. Yeah. Like. It, it was never quite as immersive. Sure. Because it's already on Earth anyway. Yeah. But like sort of over time, it just feels like just like different crowd control stuff and whatever. They just they just the way it was couldn't exist that way forever yeah. because it's at a theme park yeah. and it just it it just can't. Ugh. Well, I'm going to be in California uh, in August, which is a few months after that one opens. The whole thing or just phase one? I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Maybe just phase one. So I'm gonna try to stop it. I'm gonna go to Disneyland anyway. Yeah. So hopefully I can hit that up. Um, I'm I'm trying to wait until the hotel opens in Orlando. Yeah. That, I want I want to go whole hog. That, God, it's. Yeah, I'm. I, I need you to do it for me because I, I hate being disappointed so bad. Sure. That like I I've only eaten chicken fingers and hot dogs for every meal for 30 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Did I tell you we went to to Disney World um pretty recently and and. Uh, I had a nice little moment with Kylo Ren and he, uh, <laughs> nice little moment with Kylo yeah, Ren. Jessica like didn't want to meet him because understandably. So she, she's an adult <laughs> and she was like, this is, this is a man in a costume. It's and I so was, such a move from meeting anybody of value. And I was like, this is Kylo Ren. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, so I went up to him and I was like, Hey, I'm really sorry. She doesn't want to meet you. I think she's disloyal to the, <laughs> To the first, the first order. order and he was like well this th- there will come a time when you need to decide whether your loyalties are with the first order and then he points to her and said or with our enemies and i was like <laughs> with our enemies fuck yeah dude <laughs> um it oh, ruled so that's hard radical <laughs> yeah <laughs> just laying down the law dude yeah i love that yeah it was it was pretty tight so yeah i can't wait for galaxy's edge to open because it's going to be crazy yeah the whole thing's gonna be like that um one more one more star wars bit of housekeeping okay it, today's date is April 17th, 2019. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know anything about Star Wars. You don't know anything one. about, yeah, episode nine. I don't know what it's called, even. The, the trailer's draw. Yeah, so somehow you've avoided the name of the movie, which I'm amazed at. And I want so badly for you not to know. I, I, I feel like I will have to find out eventually before it comes out. But it would be pretty radical if the first time I see it is yeah. in you, the crawl. Because you, you have eight months to get through. I do. But I also was at Star Wars Celebration and managed to not find out. So I feel like... That's a good precedent. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just tell you right now so you can get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every single person who has, who has done that, yeah. the title, the fake title, it has something with Jar Jar Binks in it. Which that, is that's fun. I he's guess. he's it, our he's our old punching bag. Yeah. Well, it's, mm, some I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, I don't, don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Never mind. Um, I don't want to say anything. One, I just remember something crazy. One friend did say, uh, "Jar Jar Binks, the, the Star Wars Episode Nine. Jar Jar Binks is back, and this time he fucks." <laughs> 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 Which, excuse me. <laughs> um, you want to get an article? Yeah. Wow. What? I just thought of like. 
the fucking craziest thing. Hit me. What if we get the article for the new movie? And you have to read it. I have blockers up, so I think it would block oh, just it. Be like, Star Wars spoiler, spoiler, spoiler is a spoiler set in the spoiler. <laughs> But like that'd be that'd be fucking crazy. I would love that because there's definitely an article for it. Oh, I mean there might there yeah, must there, be for sure there is. Man, wow. that's really funny. What a what a. I hope that happens. We have eight months. That could happen. That's what thirty two episodes. Dude, I. The odds aren't that bad, but never tell me the odds. Thank you. What if it's this one though? Oh, fun! Lamb of God banned. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, Lamb of God, sometimes abbreviated LOG, no. is an American heavy metal band from Richmond, Virginia, formed in 1994 as Burn the Priest. The group <laughs> consists of bassist John Campbell, drummer Chris Adler, vocalist Randy Blythe, and guitarists Mark Morton and Willie Adler. Oh, maybe brothers. Uh, the band is considered a significant member of the new wave of American heavy metal movement. Since their formation, Lamb of God has released eight studio albums, one live album, one compilation album, and three DVDs. The band's cumulative <laughs> sales equal almost two million in the United States, with one album certified gold by the RIAA. In 2010 and 2011, the it's band never received good, is it? no Grammy nominations for songs from their 2009 album Wrath. They also received a nomination in 2016 for their song 512. I don't know what that means. I don't either. Is that their area code? Maybe. I maybe. I hope it's not some like I know some naughty shit. That's the one thing, man. Like, I, I, I went and saw Lords, uh, Lords of Chaos? Lord of Chaos? Lords of Chaos. Yeah. And it was like, man, this is cool, like, black metal and burning churches and shit. Like, yeah, fuck yeah. And it was like, oh, like, half these dudes are, like, fucking, yeah, like, Nazi people. And it's like, okay, well, then fuck that. Like, that sucks. Can't we just love the devil and not be fucking Nazis? I, I apparently not, dude. I don't know. Though, although there is... Ah, shit, what was it? Let me see if I can remember. Um... So their call, like that, that style of band is like, um, like heavy, 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 what the fuck do they say? Like anti-Jesus black metal. Okay. But there's, there's a genre of band that's like, uh, fuck Jesus metal, like anti-black Jesus metal or something, <laughs> something like that. It's the exact same deal. The exact same sound and shit. Uh. But the lyrics are like, no, like, like, fuck you guys. You guys are the real posers. Like for be like yeah Satan yeah so <laughs> it's it's very convoluted like um it's not exactly Christian metal but it's just not like Striper I don't know who that is to hell with the devil <laughs> they were to hell with the devil's a very good they were name. like an eighties hair metal Christian band <laughs> and to hell with the devil is an extremely good album title it's worth it just for that um oh, man, there there's there's another band I can't remember what they're called but they're like a heavy pretty heavy band but it's like Smoking is bad for you. Like, you know, <laughs> that's really funny to me. Can you do that? Smoke? Hell yeah, no. dude. <laughs> I don't know. I just get, I get so like, I'm interested in the idea of like who, who the real posers are. I think, I mean, everyone, everyone. I think it boils down to that. It's just like how much it's, it's everyone is a poser. How much of an asshole are you willing to be? Uh, that I think that is what it boils down to for me. Is like, oh, you're being an asshole, so then fuck off. Like you yeah. suck. I don't really know anything about Lamb of God. I know that they're a band. I've heard of them. I've never listened to anything. Of no, them. I think that's about as much as I know too. Um, having their acronym be LOG kind of sucks for them. I think right. Log. Log. Because you can make fun of that so easy. Yeah. Like the Ren and Stimpy song or the Log Lady from. Um, Twin Peaks mm-hmm. or logarithms from math. Do you remember yeah, those? Yeah, because that's just a little. You write a little log. You write the word log. Mm-hmm. Do you want to hear their influences? Who influenced them? Yeah, sure. Pantera. Sure. I'll just do the ones that I know. Okay. Or the ones that sound cool. Pantera, Septic Death, <laughs> uh, Black Sabbath, Obituary. <laughs> See if you're. <laughs> It's name is obituary. You suck. There's one of the guys from the from the uh, the like Norse black metal scene. He was in a band called Old Funeral. <laughs> that kind of rules, dude. Well, there's like the that like hardcore, not yeah. hardcore, whatever band, Edema. Edema. You know, I've heard of that name. You've heard. You've heard uh, the medical condition. Well, you've heard songs of edema, but and it sounds it's like, well, fuck yeah, like where's that? Like a guy, like a you're bleeding out your eyes. Sure, it's like water retention <laughs> in, in like places where you're not supposed to have water retention. It's like that sucks. Yeah, we're bloated. Uh, bolt thrower, 
corrosion of conformity. It's, it's like anyone with names like that. We get it. Yeah, we get it. We also attended middle school. <laughs> Napalm death. Napalm death was good. Machine head. Shellac. That's just funny and good. That's good, clean fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, Metallica, Slayer, Meshuga, uh, Megadeth, yeah. and Aerosmith. <laughs> I hope that's on there. It, I no, swear to God, it is. Aerosmith? Yeah. Man, Lamb of God sucks. Uh, Aerosmith. Dude, Aerosmith rules. I don't want to close my eyes. Like, that's your fucking inspiration, huh? Like, well, we, well, well. Love, we love Armageddon. And although Lamb of God is a heavy metal band, the band's vocalist, Randy Blythe, actually is more into punk rock than heavy metal and refuses to consider himself a metalhead. So, okay. um, That's interesting, at least. It is. That's all. Is, is uh, having one album go 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 gold is that actually pretty good for like a band uh, like this probably you know sure because it's not like there's a lot of people listening to them it's, they probably don't get that much radio play probably not no I, I i can't imagine um no i just can't imagine looking at these guys that they get too much radio play do you want to hear their discography their oh, albums sure. burn the priest as burn the priest that's good yeah new american gospel uh as the palaces burn Ashes of the Wake. That's fun. Yeah. Sacrament. Wrath. Resolution. Seven. Okay, so they're all just one word. Sturm and Drang. Okay, you got me on that one. What is that? It's a... Um, I mean, I... Well, you know Sturm her- und Drang. Right, so Durmstrang, mm-hmm. right? Um, so Sturm and Drang, I think is like a, a German literary movement. Okay. I don't know what it means or what it stands for, but I don't know. Sound and the Fury. Sure. Uh, Legion XX, I assume, 20. As Burn the Priest. And that was their most recent one. Oh, these guys sound great, man. You they're, know, they're really doing the thing. Okay. What do you think? What what band is worse? Mm-hmm. Because we've we got them recently. Maybe mm-hmm. the last episode. Radiohead or Lamb of God? Radiohead. Smell you later. <laughs> we went fucking buck wild one night. Did I tell you about that? No. We so we, I haven't t- we haven't talked in like th- yeah, fucking it has three been weeks. A long time. Yeah, so basically, like, we 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 go wherever we were, come back from some show or something, and we want to get some pizza. So Topek took us to this like dope place, and it was awesome. So we like all went through. It was real chaotic, just like like what do you want? What do you want? You know, like yeah. you want here. So we each got like two big big fucking slices, and we got down. I was like, I went to Rich, and I was like, Are you gonna get a? He's like a third. Yep. And like so, we both got in, and got another one. The whole time I'm texting Aaron, she's like, Oh, you gotta go to such and such like hot dog place. Uh, and uh, Topo's like, oh, it's like right around the corner. So like, went to the hot dog place. Each got like a corn dog and a hot dog and like fries. And then after that, across the street was like some diner. So like, you guys want to get some pie? So we got some fucking pie. It was like, it was gross, dude. We like, I I regretted it. <laughs> Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.